Pencil, Pencil power. power. Why, hello there, adventurers. In this video, we're going to be talking about a super duper simple way to draw feet in perspective. And this kind of gives you a little preview of what we'll be chatting about, not getting into the details of all the muscles and toes and stuff, but really getting the structure down so that your feet don't have to look like this. You know what I'm saying? And so when you're drawing a figure, it doesn't have to be like on flat ground, you know, you got the whole figure here and then the feet are just flat on the bottom, which doesn't take into mind the perspective of you're looking down at these feet. So it's really super simple, and so let's get right into it. This should be a pretty short video. And I'm surprised I hadn't seen other tutorials on YouTube talking about breaking it down this, you know, basically. So it really is going to take two shapes, this shape and this shape. All right, so starting off with basically what's a triangle, but with some rounded corners. And then somewhere below it, so if the foot's looking straight at you, it's going to be here. And if the foot's looking a little bit over to the side, it'll be over here, but it'll be below. I'm going to draw these circles, which is, those are representing the toes. All right. And then from here, it's easier to show on the side one, is from this corner, so the two sides of this oval are going to connect to the bottom uh, side here of the triangle and then not all the way at the top but somewhere around here you know it's going to connect with a bit of a curved curved line like that I think that's the, the easiest way you can also even do it with a bump line like that that can work or a straight line but either way you're gonna have the basic idea and then you're almost done um, just put a line for the big toe and then you can put some lines for the little toes just to just to lay them out just to get an idea of where they're at and remember that when you're connecting it to the to the leg this um, shin bone has a kind of curve like this and that these ankles are skewed like such so if you were building it out in a different way, you could go like that, like that, like that, like that. And I'm not going to talk too much about the leg or anything, because that's a topic for another video. But you you can see how these kind of like all come together. All right, so here we're going to have what Michael Hampton, which I like his videos on this, if you want to look into the construction on a on a deeper level and look at all the shapes um, you can s kind of just have this wrench shape is how he calls it and that can actually be a really easy way to draw the legs is just to start off with this wrench remember that the inside of the leg will be bigger than the other and then you know work out like that so that can be a cool way to do it too and so I just kind of showed you already, but on the front view, it's the same thing. And you're kind of imagining it connecting up there. And the reason is so that you can get a little bit of that heel. You'll see if the heel is sticking out a little bit to give you that, that kind of perspective. And then you've got, make sure you count your toes correctly. But you're basically just working from here. Then we've got, you know, the big toes on the inside, and the inside is higher up. So we can make a line like that. Add our two ankles. And we're good to go. Cool. So that's basically what I wanted to show you. One thing you can also do to get an idea of the shape of it is to add these curved lines. That will give you an idea, just a little more um, depth and understanding. And so what you might notice is I already drew these with this in mind is that they're standing on a three-dimensional plane, right? And what we'll do is show you that the heel is here and this one's on the bottom too. The heel's like that and this is on the bottom too. So one thing you might want to consider when drawing your, your feet um, for a figure is that to start off with you know, recognizing where that plane is, right? 
and then drawing the heel and the toes, the heel and the and the toes. So you could even have them, you know, here they're they're both pointing straight, but because they're on this this plane, you can see how they'll you know shift in perspective, and um, and then building out from there. So there's that triangle shape. And then you're connecting like that, like that, like this, like this. And then let's put a little bit of a hint of the ankles. All right. I don't necessarily recommend starting from the ground up for building your figures. I've not had too great, um, what's it called? Like great, uh, great luck getting them to look natural, usually, you know, starting from either the hips or even the head, coming down like this, you know, putting your legs in, and then being like, okay, here's the ground, I found it, and you're kind of imagining, okay, here are the, you know, here are the, where the heel and the toes, toe pads for the toes will touch, and then kind of coming like this, oops, and connecting them all up. That way, you can already see how this figure feels more grounded. This one, like, I'm going too much straight up. These would be coming in. But it's really hard to gauge that working down to up, at least for me. Maybe that'll work for you. So let me know. I'd be curious to, to hear about your experience. But that's basically it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. I'll do one other quick demo of how you might do this if the legs are more spread out. So even if you have like a kung fu character like this, you know, and they've got their like something like that, right? And so you want to create a wider plane and then see, all right, does that look like he's standing on a magic carpet? Yeah, more or less. That's pretty good. And then I want this foot, you know, pointing this way, right? So this one's easier. Let's do that. And this foot pointing like that, maybe? Is that right? No. Maybe this one is turning inwards like that. How about there? That looks fine. Let's go with that, right? Might want to look at reference to get the, the stance looking proper. And then, you know, build out that, that little triangle. You might put a circle for the, for the ankle if you want to to delineate it that way and then when you kind of come in here you work your way out this is a little more complicated so I won't get into that but the basic idea holds true and then once you kind of get a more detailed idea of how the the foot is constructed you can go ahead and add that in there and build it out um, show you real quick some of like the sketches I was doing from these Michael Hampton studies have more of this this isn't the best one um, you know like using squares and um, this using these cube shapes using what he calls a little um, what does he call them like matchbox or cigarette box or something shape with a little, you know, teepee house on it. Just basically going from, but still I can start from here to lay that in super easily and then I can come in here and say, okay, cool. Let me add a little more construction to get an idea now that I know a little more about the feet. Let me see how this angle is going to have a uh, a box here, there's a sphere here, you know, this wraps around there. And see, so now we're constructing a little bit more of a structured foot. So I hope that was helpful and that it has imbued you with just a little bit more pencil, pencil power. power.